Not sure what CPU to pair with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 or 5070 Ti? If you're building with an RTX 5070 or 5070 Ti, you don't need to guess which CPU to pair with it. In this video, I'll break down the best options for every budget, whether you're keeping costs tight, looking for the perfect all-rounder, or going premium for serious multitasking. By the end, you'll know exactly which processor will give you the smoothest performance now, and still make sense years from today without overpaying. And along the way, we'll cover both AMD and Intel options without ranking them in any specific order, so make sure to watch until the end to find the one that's best for you. So let's get started. Links to all processors mentioned in the video are available in the description. First, for a budget CPU, my suggestion is the Ryzen 5 9600X. If you're building around a 5070 or 5070 Ti and you're counting every dollar, the Ryzen 5 9600X is where to look first. It's a 6-core Zen 5 chip with excellent single-thread performance, and that means your games benefit directly. Higher averages, tighter lows, and fewer stutters in CPU-heavy titles. It's also power efficient and easy to cool, so you're not spending extra on a giant heatsink or noisy fans. But the real value here is the platform. AM5 is confirmed to get CPU support through at least 2027, which means you can start with a 9600X today and drop in something like a 9800X3D or a next-gen Zen 6 chip later without swapping your board or RAM. That's a big deal if you like stretching a build over multiple upgrade cycles. If you're squeezing the budget even harder, you can look at the Ryzen 5 7600. It's a little slower than the 9600X, but still more than enough for a 5070 series card, and you keep the same AM5 longevity. Over on Intel, the closest match is the Core Ultra 5 245K. It's an Arrow Lake chip on the new LGA1851 socket, which means you're buying into Intel's newest platform with an actual upgrade runway. It's a great set and forget choice for high refresh 1080p or 1440p gaming. Now, if you already have an LGA1700 motherboard, it makes more sense to go with a Core i5-13400F or 14400F. They won't give you the same platform life, but if you're not planning future CPU upgrades, they handle the 5070 and 5070 Ti just fine for less money. Next, for a premium CPU, I recommend the Ryzen 9 9950X. If you're the type who games, streams, edits video, and maybe has a few heavy background tasks running all at once, you'll want something with serious multi-core muscle. That's where the Ryzen 9 9950X comes in. 16 Zen 5 cores, 32 threads, and clock speeds that keep up with the best gaming CPUs while tearing through productivity workloads. It's overkill if you're only gaming, but if you do more, it's a buy once, keep for years kind of chip. For Intel users, the Core Ultra 9 285K is the premium counterpart. It's the Arrow Lake flagship, so you're getting maximum performance today and a modern socket for the future. Whether you're playing competitive shooters or exporting 4K timelines, it's going to stay fast. Now, we've got to talk about the Ryzen 7 9800X3D here too. This is the current king of cache-heavy gaming, with performance that shines in CPU-limited scenarios. If you know you'll be upgrading to something far beyond the 5070 in the future, it could be worth the investment. But for most people pairing it with a mid-range GPU, you're paying for capability you won't fully use right now. And if you're on LGA 1700 and already have the board, you could consider the i7 14700K. It's not worth buying new for this tier, but as an upgrade on an existing platform, it's still a strong chip. Finally, for most gamers, my top overall choice is the Ryzen 7 9700X. For most people watching this, this is the category that matters. You want a CPU that perfectly matches the 5070 series in gaming performance, has room for light streaming or multitasking, and won't need replacing the moment you decide to upgrade your GPU. On the AMD side, the Ryzen 7 9700X delivers exactly that. Eight Zen 5 cores give you headroom in modern and upcoming games, smoother frame pacing in CPU-heavy titles, and extra breathing room if you like to run Discord, Chrome, and other apps alongside your game. It's still very power efficient, runs cool, and, just like the 9600X, sits on AM5 for a long, supported future. 
On Intel, the Core Ultra 7 265K fills the same sweet spot. It's got the right mix of performance and efficient cores to keep high refresh rates smooth while also being a strong multitasker. And with the LGA 1851 platform, you can drop in future CPUs without redoing your whole build. If you lean purely towards maximum gaming FPS and don't mind paying a bit more, you could swap the 9700X for the 9800X3D here. Just remember, with the 5070 or 5070 Ti, you won't see the full benefit of that cache at higher resolutions. It's a better fit if you're planning a serious GPU upgrade later. So here's the quick takeaway. If you're building on a budget, go with the Ryzen 5 9600X. The best all-rounder is the Ryzen 7 9700X, and if you need serious multitasking muscle, the Ryzen 9 9950X has you covered. Match the CPU to your needs, and your 5070 will stay fast and reliable for years. Links to all the CPUs are in the description. Check them out and pick the one that fits your build.